Let's continue working on this grid view. So the first thing we're going to do is talk to the grids view, Rob. Now, if we can get to it, there it is. And we'll go to edit columns. And we'll turn off a bunch of these so we don't need to see ID. We want to see title and display date. And then we don't really want to see well, we just really want to see title and display date. And let's uh, just make these caps just for parents' sakes. Title. And we'll just call this one date rather than display date. And then we'll say OK to that. Then we also want to enable selection. We'll enable sorting. I'm not sure how many I'll have on here, but we'll enable sorting and deleting as well. And then I'm going to go back into the columns and make this one a button. Okay, so that is what we'll do for the formatting. The next thing let's do is add a form view so that they, when they select one of the newsletters, we'll actually display it in the form view. And we will do this like we did, like we've always done. We'll come down here, somewhere below here. Go to our data section of the toolbox. Grab a form view and pull it off. Drop it on here, and then choose its data source make a new one, point it at the database, then we're going to have the newsletter one, that's great, then you will go to the where and do the column, where the ID column comes from the control, and the control ID is grid view one. We'll add that, say OK, and then we don't need to, we're not going to do anything other than look at here, so this is finished. And then let's, let's just test this out, then we'll come back and format the form view. So when we run this, see this one so we can say select and there it pops up in our form view. We can select this one, it pops up in the form view. Okay, so we'll come back in the next tutorial and do the toggling between the two views so we only see one or the other and then we'll also uh, fix the formatting on this one.